Today I'm reviewing Sand Queen by Helen Benedict. And I've slid as much off the cover as I dare without pulling this, this thing off entirely. Sand Queen is a novel. And it was written by Helen Benedict, who wrote a nonfiction book about women soldiers in Iraq called The Lonely Soldier, which I've previously interviewed previously reviewed. And the novel is told from two different perspectives. An American soldier in Iraq, female, named Kate, and a female Iraqi medical student named Naima, or Naima, something like that. And Naima's story is that her father, she's, she had to flee Baghdad when the war started, and they're at home, and American soldiers burst into their house and take away her brother, her younger brother, and her father. And this sets the course of the novel into motion in terms of bringing Naima and Kate together. Kate is assigned to a, um, a prison compound where they keep Iraqi uh, insurgents and so forth, but nobody can tell who the good guys and the bad guys are, so a lot of times they have innocent people in there. And Kate knows this and feels terrible about it, but she doesn't know what to do. And, of course, she has to deal with stress factors of her own. The reality of sexual harassment by her own colleagues, so to speak, her own troops, her alleged brothers in arms, and... Um, there is one understanding man who stands out among the crowd, but there's also a, a two female soldiers who work with her, and they're an interesting contrast in personalities. But the thing is, Kate and Naima come into contact when Naima comes to the compound and is able to with with many other women. It's like a crowd of women who come to this place and um, and just beg for, for for a list of who's in there. You know, some something, some sort of indication that their husbands or sons or whatever are in there or not in there or alive or dead or whatever. And Naima agrees to um, interpret because she can speak English. So she serves as an interpreter for, for Kate and Kate grows to care about her and like her. But events, which I will not go into because it would spoil the whole book, unfold that eventually tear them apart and it is one of the saddest books I've ever read. And it tells you a lot about what it's like for a female soldier in Iraq, in Iraq in particular, but for a female soldier dealing with a lot of different problems. And I can't recommend this book highly enough. Everybody should read it it'll give you a much better understanding of what it means to be a female soldier and what it means to be involved in a war like the Iraqi war. So read this book, please. And having said that, I'll just say thanks for listening and I'll talk to you next time.